Khalid. What's up? Uh, what are we doing today? Where are you right now? So, the major key right now <laughs> I knew it. was to be at JK party. What's that? So it was a major key alert, and we're playing a game right now yeah, called. Yeah, it's a major key. What do you mean we? You're not part of JK Party. Yeah. What do you mean? This is my team. Oh, so you're playing with us today? Huh? You're playing with us today. You smart. <laughs> Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. You played yourself. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're playing One Night Werewolf. How do you play that? I'm not the best at explaining, so hold up. God damn it. Hey! What's up, beautiful people? Just oh kidding. Uh, so we're playing One Night Ultimate Werewolf, like DJ Khaled mentioned. And the way you play this game, it's basically deception, right? So there's there's the bad guys, which is the werewolves and the minion, and then there's the good guys, which are all this town's people. So you have a seer, a robber, troublemaker, drunk, insomniac, villagers, right? So it's similar to Mafia, where everyone is given a specific role, but um, the twist to this one is people still go to sleep and they wake up, but the twist is when they go to sleep, every single role does something different that can fuck up the hand that you were initially dealt. So, for example, um, if I'm the villager and the troublemaker wakes up, right? So I'm asleep, I have my villager card, troublemaker wakes up. Now, the troublemaker has the option to switch two cards randomly without turning them over, without seeing what that character is. They could switch it without anyone knowing. And then when you wake up, because it varies from mafia that you rem like that you get to see what your role is, um, you never get to see it after you wake up. So you only get to see it once. So if the troublemaker switched you, you don't know. You so you're a completely you new anymore. person. You're com you, you could be a completely new person. You could be the same person, but you don't know. And uh, unlike mafia, you can only go to sleep and wake up one time, and you can only kill one time. Like mafia, you can kill multiple times, and then yeah, you could kill multiple times, and uh, you could do it. Uh, this was so distracting. But yeah, that's that's basically the game. Can you run through each one really quick and it says what they do? All right, so this is the seer. So when everyone's asleep, the seer wakes up and they can see uh, any one of their opponent's card or uh, there's three cards that are left in the center that nobody's playing. So they can see anyone's card or they can see uh, two of the cards in the middle that no one's playing. The robber wakes up and they rob someone. So they switch their role with someone else and they also get to see that card after they robbed them. Now when the trouble wakes up, I mean the troublemaker wakes up, they can't look at anyone's cards because they're all face down. They can't look at anyone's cards. All they can do is switch two people, but they still can't see what they switched them for. So they're all sold up. In they're the just dark. fucking people up. They just fuck people over. Then you have the drunk who, like a drunk in real life, just blacks out, doesn't remember who he is, where he is, how he got there, and how he's getting home. So all he does is wake up, he, he places his character card into the center pile, which has those three that I mentioned earlier, and he takes one out at random. He never gets to look at that character. So he's also in the blind, again, like a drunk person. Then you have the insomniac. Again, when everyone's sleeping, she's the only one that can wake up, look at her card to make sure that she hasn't been switched but if she has been switched at least she can verify who she her who her new character is now and then you have the villagers who don't really do anything but just village they don't wake up they stay asleep the entire time while all this shit's happening uh and then the werewolves all they're trying to do they can't really kill anyone all they're trying to do is just stay under wraps and not get caught and then the minion who's also bad and part of the werewolf team he is trying to get caught and he is trying to get killed because if you kill the minion and not the werewolves, then the werewolf team wins. Cool. So it's fucking cool. And I think when a lot of people play this game, they don't understand when you wake up as a new person, you are now that person yeah. and their new team. Yeah, that's a good point. So if I'm a werewolf right now and I look at it, I put it down, I go to sleep, somehow in all of the characters rotating and switching and swapping and stuff, if they happen to change my card, and they tell me once gameplay begins that they switch me, then immediately I'm on the good team and I have to say, I was a werewolf, I gave my card to whatever, or you switched my card from whoever, that means he's a werewolf, and you have to switch sides immediately. Oh, damn. Yeah. Do you like this better thing. than Mafia? I love this more than Mafia because it just kind of changes everything up. And then like when people like Churo or Nadim play, they do such a good job at fucking with people and saying that they're one role when they're really another role that you believe them and then you played yourself the way DJ Khaled says it and you're like, fuck, but I believed you! Is that true? 
I think it's funner because everyone gets to play and in Mafia you could just wake up and you're dead and now you just don't get to play. True, everyone gets to play and everyone has an opportunity to talk because there's some people that will, will keep it under wraps and kind of just stay in the dark or in the corner and not really talk too much but this one you're forced to Yeah, interact. this one forces you to talk. Uh, do we need to do a sample round for anyone here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just... For oh. you! Yeah, I'll take a sample okay. round. Like, <laughs> did you not just That's listen to everything she just said? I, I did not listen to anything that she said. As bro, usual. Bro! As, as bro. usual. You know, get that right. As usual. Leave that in the edit, okay? I never, I, 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 I never listened to Gio and I, just leave that in the edit, okay? Oh. Hey, Michael, Michael, why don't you tell us about the story you told us yesterday? I'll leave that for another what time, story? okay? No, what camera's story? rolling, camera's rolling. What story? That, that'll be for the next vlog, okay? What story? The next, the next, uh, vlog, the next vlog, vlog, the next vlog, okay? Next like okay, take? Because I want to hear. Next take, all right. The, the, the uh, next vlog, okay? Stop the recording, then record again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what's the story? We're not recording anymore. <laughs> that'll be for the next vlog. Oh, uh, camera bat ran out of battery. Camera ran out of battery. Oh, yeah, the camera ran out of battery. It's dead. Tell me, what is it? To, uh, Wait, so how many hookers? Like I'll tell me no, hookers. It's not hookers. <laughs> Alright. I'll, I'll tell you at lunch. How many strippers? It's an awesome story. Two. Two strippers? <laughs> Two strippers. Two? Damn. I, I got a girl. Yesterday, but... Damn, I wish I was vlogging. You got two strippers? Oh my god. I wish I was vlogging. Come on, Michael. Why do you look so sad? Because we just got fucking played. The werewolf and the minion in this game did really, really good. And I knew that this guy, I can't say who because you guys have to watch the video, but this guy here was bad. I think everyone knew that this guy here was bad, but we just didn't know if this person was made or werewolf. And we got fucking played hardcore. And I, I knew I shouldn't have came out, but sometimes, you know, when you're the good guy and you know extra information, you just want to help everyone out. So you're just like, fuck it, you just come out and help everyone. But I should have held out to see what other stuff, you know, unfolds, so. What happened with you? Like, the hundredth time in a row, I was right and Gio was bad. But I just didn't know which one she was. So, I, I fucked up. But she did a good job. <laughs> what makes you, what makes you think, or what makes you know if Gio's bad or not? Uh, cause usually she plays more like, Logical without accusing a lot. Well, wait, what the what the way that was? I had to accuse because someone was impersonating me. I had to accuse. But you weren't that person. Well, doesn't matter. But anyone, that's what I was telling Michael. No, anyone saying, would accuse. I was, uh, I was looking at you because it was drawing but you, all attention. But you, you can't no, but you, do you that because that so doesn't make sense. Because in the beginning, you were just like, I'm drunk, so I automatically like, oh hey, Chio for sure is innocent because she came up off the bat, and that's what was going on in my mind. I was like, Chio's not gonna play us like that, and I was like, oh, Casey's a little shady. But then at the end, you did play us like that. <laughs> That was good. That you was can really bring good. real life scenarios into the gameplay. Huh? I love that. You can't bring real life that, that fucks up the gameplay all together. Oh, Gio's so nice in real life. No, 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 no. I, didn't, I didn't say that though. I didn't say that. Yeah, you just did. No, I said that off the bat. She came out saying like very confident she was a drunk. So I was just like, oh, okay, she's not gonna play us already like that. Like, nah. And then but you that, came out. I thought you playing. Right there. That's it. Right there. That's oh. you saying. Oh, yeah. I'll never do that. Yeah, and yeah. That's also the part sure. that that screwed a lot of us yeah. over. I think. Right off the bat, when we don't have enough clues, and we immediately already make the judgment and disregard things, then we, then like Jill wasn't even in one of the options to vote for anymore. So I think that's where we all <laughs> fucked up. Cause Jill was out of my radar yeah. too. I was just thinking, it's I know it's this guy, and I'm trying to see who uh, Byron is trying to build alliances with, but I I just couldn't figure it out, you know. So I was like, fuck. I know Byron is the key. But I don't know who he's. Who but he's you did also sketch me out too, because you're just like all the good people talk and the bad people talk, and I'm like, fucking. I, 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 I know something. No, but I apologize right, right oh, after because yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, my bad. That's not what I was trying to say. Yeah. My bad. I, I don't want. I don't want to miss anybody. I was like, maybe oh, Bart's the fucking. I wasn't trying to miss. Yeah, yeah, he's. I thought he was. I thought he was on my side. I really thought he was on my side. I was like, what? They're like backing each other. Yeah, I was like, thank you, Bart. I wasn't trying to mislead anybody. Thank you, Bart. I was just like listening. I'm like, dude, we need this guy to speak more because he was just like, he turned into Michael. And I'm like, dude, we need to listen to fucking Byron speak. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. just like, he just, he really goes. I'm so confused on this game. I'm like, dude, you you're like, like a pro. Here. Like, you, you play games shit. all day. There's no way you fucking lie. <laughs> That's why we just have to kill, to kill them. We're just like, fuck it. Let's just kill them because we don't even like them. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, bro. <laughs> And then at the very, very end, like I knew he was on my team and I knew he was minion. So then when you asked me, who do you want to kill? And I'm like, of course I want to kill. I want to kill Byron. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got played so hard. <laughs> no. You did a good job with that part because I wasn't quite sure how to read you. I was like, you're werewolf or minion? And I was like, we were asking you like, who would you kill? And you, one point you're trying to kill me, and another point you're trying to kill him. I was like, fuck. Would you really want to kill the minion or would you trying to kill me? I, 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 was, I was confused. Because you were trying people. to figure out if she what was. Because she, yeah. uh, he knew I was bad, yeah, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was doing that. I'm the only one that knew that she was a liar. I, so I didn't like, know what she was though. When you're a bad person, you have to play like you're a good person. Be like, okay, the, it's between them two. Because like, one know. person's lying yeah. and one person's lying. Well, even both, even they, when you're the bad person, you have to play the lesser of the bad person. Because once it's finalized on like this, so we know Byron was bad, right? Yeah. He has to play, is he minion though, or is he werewolf? Yeah. And so that's what he started doing the same yeah. thing too. Yeah. Like at least yeah. from, from my perspective, I was like, I couldn't tell if you're a werewolf or minion the way we were playing. Cause then you would oust him out, and then you would oust me out. And I was like, wow, which one is it then? I think she did a good job because she never really tried getting him out. Yeah, yeah. You know, she, she would always, it's between them, but always go towards you. Mm -hmm. She never try to be like, oh, it's him. Because I was, everyone was thinking it was him. And if she tried putting blame on him, she would have came out as minion, mm -hmm. you know? But I wasn't being I mean, a baby. Know, she come out oh, okay, fine. What are the fucking chances too that you guys played the drunk that picked the one in the middle? I know. I know. I really did pick the middle one. I did. I really did. This is the I was like, fuck. Like, oh, cause you, oh, cause you only saw the it. outer two. Yeah, so I was like, cool. that is awesome. Like, what are the, cause you told me which one you want to look at, and I was like, I was, I was like this. I was like, I couldn't make my eyes look this way. So I was like, and I was like, damn. And then so he, I guess I got a massage, he showed me those two, and then both of you guys said you picked the middle. I'm like, fuck. Just I have no clue. Yeah, the reason I was telling that story though is because I want to get as specific as possible. Because then if you were lying, you would just be like, I just pointed at it, you know? So I was no. like, and I did, I did do, I did. This. And when you did that, I was like, fuck, that is so good. I'm like, I gotta, specific. I gotta get it back. And then that's when I did my, my folding the fingers or whatever. Yeah, I like how you guys argue. I was like, <laughs> yeah, this is not adding to who's talking. But it was, but it was. See, you came in, you killed. It was adding to it. How does that, how does that I'm trying to be as specific as possible. So then you know I'm He's trying to sell that he really did it. Every sure. detail, I'm yeah. running back my history. If he could explain second by second how his play was, yeah. and then if she gives her explanation and it skips minute by minute, we know she doesn't have as many details as him. Yeah. But then you immediately came in, that's bullshit, another one. <laughs> no, dude. And then we're like, we're like, fuck, all right. Fuck it. Thank you, Nadeem. Hey. Minion for life. <laughs> 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 I'm, a, I'm a minion no matter what. <laughs> villager? No, I'm a minion. <laughs> you take this bullshit card I got. Minion. Fuck. Got, got play. No you got played by your own wife. Fuck. See, I, got I really thought you were on my team I though. Of course. <laughs> I can't trust you. It's, just... it's a prenup, Bart. Fuck. Yeah, what I'm the good. fuck? I'm I have good. my own money. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to be worse. I got to play. My heart hurts right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't I'm believe sorry. you did this to me. I'm sorry. It's, it's all the game. It's all the game, baby. It's not real life. Yeah, hey, 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 we're wearing the same shirt. Hey, 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 get that, get that shit out of here. Team Green Acre. Hey, get, 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 get it out of here. Get that. Get that crap out of here. Let's do hey, one little I'll, one. I'll, I'll do it for you. Just do, pick it for no, him. Do, 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 like do you have like a do you have like a toothpick? I'll do it for you. No, I don't trust you. Do you have a toothpick? I'll do it for you. Fine, just a little bit. No, no. Open your mouth. No. Open your mouth. Wait, I'm gonna spray just your pinky. Eye. Just your pinky. Uh, Nadine, first is, first tell him about this flashbang candy. Uh, candy? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is candy. You tell me. It's spicy candy that tastes really good. It's really No, no, no! Oh shit! My god! Anyways, oh. Nadim, I think it's now time for you to try the candy. This candy, pepper palace hot sauce. <laughs> just put one drop, one drop. Yeah, like a little drop. Here. <sighs> just try it. What the hell? What the hell? I mean, what do you mean, what the hell? You already know it's like I've already done it. Pour it in your hand and then lick your hand. If I could do it, you could do it. Pour it in your hand and lick your hand. I guess. Is that enough? No, I don't think that's enough. <laughs> that's not enough. You won't get the full effect. Why is she going crazy? Ooh. What? This is more than enough. Would you take this much? I would. Alright, go for it. Well, I don't want to. We already, already did it though. It. You know, there's a video of me trying uh, it on the internet. Let me just do it. God damn it. That's Let me see. It. That's some like weak ass shit right there. It is damn. pretty weak. Fuck it, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not hot. Hold on, throw up, what? Did you 
What happened? There's an instant, instant spit. How's the candy? <laughs> That's exactly the symptoms. How does your pinky oh, feel? Oh shit. Oh, rinse your pinky off too, dude. This candy oh, yeah, burns. Burn. This candy yeah. burns. You're gonna pretty. feel. Yeah. You're gonna feel really sore. This candy burns like a mug. Don't rub it. your eyes you either. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you smell it? The spice. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yourself. Why would you flashbang yourself? <laughs> Troll, your turn. Now that you're here. Yeah. Oh, you're oh yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. 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 Do Come on, dude. Yeah, this is nothing oh, for Mexicans. Oh, went away. Just one pinky. Yeah, one pinky. It goes away. One no, pinky. Goes away. I did this already, though. No, he he said, look, he's good. Look. No way. But I did this already. You did it in there. You, did, you never did dude. this. Yes, I did. No, no when? I, I did it. You weren't here. No, you didn't. No, it was like three weeks away. This is different. Yeah, I tested. It's the same. Just no, it's not. You guys did the noodle things. I tested it. No, not enough, though. All right, I'll do it if you do it. I did already. Yeah. I did way more. Just do it. Just hook Nadim up. Don't be the fake homie. Fake homie. Just take the fake homie. Let's do it. Alright, that's good, that's good. Now lick the whole thing. No, fuck. Go, my go, go, go. Hurt. Come on. No, it's okay. It's a, go. Dude, you're gonna get lean, you said. Go, go, go. Go. The whole thing. What? What? Oh, the whole thing. Whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? You did that's, that's already enough. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Wash your hands. Clean your fingers. Your yeah, mind. wash it. It's oh, it like shit, man. <laughs> oh, my tongue hurts. <laughs> and my back and my throat hurts. I gotta put it right there. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, <shit. laughs> That's some good shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, spark it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good shit. Forget you guys, man. You guys torturing me. <coughs> oh. Dude, we all took like 20 shots of this. Well, dude, I only took a baby one. That shit already hurts my tongue. I took like two big ass shots of this, dude. <sighs> it's crazy because I just put it on my, the back of my tongue and then the fumes just hits the back of my yeah. throat. Don't touch your eye with that pinky though. For the rest of the day, don't touch anything with that pinky. Damn, you guys are so mean. How are you making me do this shit? Did you do it? How are you now? Look at his eyes, they're all watery now. Have you been watching a romantic comedy or something? It's worse now. Eat the bread, it'll help. Trust me. That almost killed the whole drink. But you, gotta, you gotta eat the bread though. Oh! You, you had more? Here. You did more? Here. Is this so good? This is for you. You should eat bread. Bread? Yeah. yeah. So I hope with the spiciness. You want milk? Oh, my throat. Yeah, you can do it. This will help you. I hope with the spiciness. My tongue's fucking numb now. Yeah, don't touch anything with that pinky. It's, it's out of commission. No, 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 hell no. You're <laughs> sweating. It will help, but that should fuck up my stomach. It's not real, it's lactate milk. So it's lactose free. Yeah? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you drink it the whole yeah? thing. I felt like another drink. <laughs> Whose idea was it? Michael's. <laughs> Michael's the I didn't even know about this. So he Michael brought no, this. No, this right now oh, that right would now just happen. Because <laughs> Michael brought this to JK party. I had like two or three shots of this bad boy. And, and then so I wanted Nadim and Churl, every time they come to JK Party, they always get the fun stuff. So we're like, dude, you guys gotta try the real JK Party. And they just tried one the little initiation. drop. Yeah. One little initiation drop of JK Party. We don't always have fun. I mean, we have fun all the time. Someone's fucking milk in my, my mouth. That's true. It's still fun though. It was fun. But it wasn't painful. Yeah. I just wanna make sure the footage is done. The yeah, real right? JK Party is painful. <laughs> so, but now, now you're a true JK Party member. I, what do you mean? I've always been, haven't I? My hurts. And even with the nasty sodas was painful. Dude, that was nothing. That's just nasty soda. This is, this is something else. I thought the thing was gonna go away. My tongue is it's getting worse. It, it gets worse. Alright, let me see what Nadim's up to. If you wait like 15 minutes. I, I just see what his hands are. I know what What's Nadim up to now? I gave him milk. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Sorry. That's a good <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> what the fuck? It's really getting spicier. I'm here because I don't want to throw up inside. Oh! Which trail? Trail's recovery. How's trail? He's uh, sweating balls. I think I'm gonna throw up. Why are you gonna throw up, dude? Spicy, huh? Oh my god. Let's see it. Let's see it. I had, what are you mixing? Dude, don't you know you can't mix drinks? That's how you get sick. <laughs> You're rude. <laughs> you call everything rude. Someone's I would never do that to you, Nadim. I think You're I, the I, one I was. That's I was recording it and documenting this fun time. I gotta, I gotta pay rent. What? I hope this is a raise. What is this? Oh. <laughs> what goes through your mind on which one to choose from? When this stops working, I switch to this. And when this stops working, I switch to this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna skip this next guy. No. Why? No. It's Bullshit. Go away in like five minutes. So just wrapped our meeting. And then we got the homie B. Choi, who's the double agent. He not only works for Barbell, I mean, let me repeat that, I'm tired. Not, he not only works for JK, but he gets down and dirty with Barbell and he even has his own line right here. And it's just not any old little line. It actually has purpose and it's actually pretty fucking dope. I don't think I've ever talked to you about your brand. Tell me about your brand. So, the brand is Green Acre. It's a role that my friend is also the co-founder. He grew up on Green Acre Road in Oakland, and a lot of, a lot of uh, what he does today stem from that. Like a lot of, he's a graphic designer now, and his best memories on that street was going to the park, seeing the, the Green Acres, and just seeing colors and stuff like that, and that inspired him to do what he's doing now, which is graphic designing. And then what we're doing here is, um, we're a collective of storytellers. We like to tell stories. We believe that everybody um, has unique moments in their life, even though they think their moment, oh, my life is basic. When you think about it, your memories are unique only to yourself, and that's more than enough reason to share with others, especially with social media now, it's like crazy. So we're just trying to highlight individuals who don't necessarily think their life is grand or whatever. We're trying to show that everybody is, you know, special. That's tight, everyone's a unique snowflake. Exactly. Because exactly. you know that there's no two snowflakes yeah. that look alike. Even if you're an artist, or you're you're doing a nine to five. Yeah. You're still you know you still have memories that nobody else has, and we're just trying to you know bring that out there. That's well. tight. You guys are spreading good vibes, and you guys are also indirectly inspiring and motivating others that feel like they're just not special or that they just have nothing unique about them. Yeah, that's the fucking dope. Crazy, you know, just people that ranging from uh, amateur photographers to people to students to people in the working field, like. Um, uh, I did a story about Lewis, who's a Taiwanese guy who cooks Mexican food. And he thought his life was basic. I'm like, bro, you're you're an Asian man cooking Mexican food. That is fucking rare. We got emails from aspiring chefs like, hey, you know, I thought that was dope. It kind of you know, motivated me to keep pursuing what I want to do because my parents don't like me going into the culinary world, going into culinary school. So it's just a waste of money, it's a waste of time. But Damn. Watching, watching you and hearing your stories, encouraged me to continue pursuing that. Damn, that's tight. You're making like mini superheroes and shit. Yeah, I mean, it comes from you guys, from JK, how I got into JK. It kinda, I was kind of inspired by myself too because I thought I was gonna go the traditional Hollywood route where I would just PA as much as I can and then hopefully get with a studio or a production company and then just, you know, work commercials and hopefully in a couple of decades work on a feature film. Yeah. And then Bob Brigade comes along and then I sign up and the rest is history. So now I'm... True, and then we have the, the front desk conversations. I'm like, bro, just come on one of our sets. I know, no interview. No that's nothing. it. You know, just like, come next week. I'm like, what? Yeah, that's tight, man. That's fucking dope. Thanks for sharing your story. Where can they find this? 
Um, our website is greenacre.co. If you check it out, it's a website designed by my friend and also features original photography. So we'll be switching that up every time we release something new. Damn, that's we tight. We encourage you guys to go on there and share your stories with us. Because we do want to create, it's more than just a clothing brand. We want to create a community where everybody can share their stories together. Damn, Tool, that's sexy. Thank you. Damn. Damn, you're making all the girls' panties wet right now. I could, I could feel it. <laughs> Not personally feel it, but I just know that's what's happening. <laughs> Not personally. What's so funny? Because you're so funny. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I can't laugh now. It's a crime. No, it's not a crime. Hey, tell me about your shirt. Your shirt, yeah. You were so happy today. Alright, uh, the reason why I'm so happy, I got this shirt maybe like in 2011, 2012, don't remember. But the cool thing about it, I was four years old and I squeezed my fat ass body in this shirt <laughs> so I could look cool in JK Barbie. What do you guys think? You look cool? Yeah, you look jacked. What's his name? Uh, it's uh, Carl, I mean Carl. Um, I can say it. I can say it. Macaulay Culgan. Yeah, I can't say. Oh that. no! Macaulay Culgan. Macaulay Culgan. Macaulay Culgan. Well, uh, what was the what was the model, the blonde hair one with the big boobs that you used to jack off to? What's her name? Panama. Anna. <laughs> Panama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, don't judge me. She's That's hot. Dope. Well, she used to be hot. She's right. She's hot. I feel you. Yeah, I just no, didn't know who Panama Anderson name, was. <laughs> You know what I mean? Big titty white girl from Canada. Why yeah. she's from Canada? Canada? Canada. Okay, Canada. She's from Canada, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah see? Canadian women. <laughs> I know you like. Oh, no, no. No, no, what? Um, what? What happened? He's done. Indeed. He's yeah. done. Are you done yeah. with the meetings? Yeah, I'm done. I'm going no. home now. We're going to watch Stranger Things episode 3 tonight? Possibly. I got scared last night, but I'm Are down. Are you going to watch episode 3? I did, I did, I did. Big homie, I was telling him. I was ruining it to him. Yeah, he was telling me he was like, oh. Oh, episode two when this happened, I was like, this never happened. He was like, Oh, I heard I you like, with the letters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah. But you know what happened? Good. Bar got mad at me for watching uh, both of you guys. I didn't get well, mad. Bar, bar was like, 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 stop watching, we're gonna watch it together. I know, I told him that last night. He yeah. said he doesn't give a fuck. And I was like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> he just he kidding, had, he didn't say that. He was like, uh, uh, he asked me, he was like, hey, we're gonna watch anything. Well, when he comes, I was like, I'll be there like half an hour. He goes, oh, it's too late, we're gonna watch it now. I was like, no, what are you doing? He's like, fuck you, I'm just gonna watch it now. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah he does sound like a fuck you kind of guy. Yeah. Fuck him, though. Yeah, that's exactly Let's boycott cool. Bart Kwan. What if I, you're not gonna sleep with him, or you're gonna sleep on the couch? No, he's sleeping on the couch. Oh, that's true, that's even smarter. Yeah. yeah just uh, make him sleep in the hallway. I'm down. Yeah. Are you excited? Last three days in the house? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna sleep in the hallway. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, start packing a little bit. I've been packing like every single day, you're done though, right? Yeah, I'm done. 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 Yeah, I'm it's a lot of clothes, but they're all in trash bags. If you go to my room, it's nothing but a, like literally a mattress and trash bags. Yeah. Done. So everything's clean? Damn, I'm excited. I'm excited too. This Friday. Yeah. Saturday, sorry. This Saturday. I'll be gone though. Yeah, I know. You're going to Mexico. I'll be gone too. I know. I'm going to be up on myself. This is how you're going to dance though. You ready? Alright. <laughs> he says it's easy. Yeah, so you're going to put. You're, I'm the girl, you're the girl. So you're going to put your. your Oh, here. God, I hate when they do that okay. shit. All right. So all you have to do is jump <laughs> twice up and move. Does that make sense? No. No. So basically, it's a two step. So you just go. Up. How do I put my hold in your hand or you're holding my wrist? Oh, whatever. So we'll do it like this. Ready? What do you mean, gay? Come on. No, I'm holding you. Right? <laughs> I'm holding you like this? Yeah, yeah. And then you're just like dancing. Two okay. step. On one, on one foot or what? Yeah, you just one step. You keep moving. That's it? Wait, let's check. Do it by yourself. Just, damn, I haven't even done this in a while. So it's basically, you're with the chick, the chick's between your legs, and you're just basically doing two steps. So you're like, one, two, one, two. <laughs> That's like five, five of the bounce. But you're like moving, you're like one, two, and then you're just right now. Damn! It's been a while. Show, Show it down. Oh, you're just a cherry box? You're a cherry box? It's a wrestling move. What you do? Hey, you like wrestling? I don't want to wrestle, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> cherry pop, bro. Oh, what does that mean? Like your gay cherry, cherry pop? pop? Well, no, no, what was your move? A cherry pick. Yeah, cherry pick. Wait, which is okay, but one of my homies wants to say. So let me show him what the cherry pick is. Oh, you, you might want to take that off. Tough guy. Hey, cherry pick. Be worried with that fanny pack. So this is a cherry pick. When you down here, you drop down and you throw the cherry pick. Oh! And then you what? But. So you drop uh, down, you drop their head, and you pick their your ankle. And then they go like this. Well, my homie is who wrestled for UCLA back in 2010. He won the CIF I State Championship. Yeah. What? Uh, in high school or high school? 
Huh? High school? High school. Yeah. Any cherry pop? He took, he took state. No, no, cherry pop. You want this? Yeah. What so was what the cherry pop? Uh, do you want me to do it? Yeah. So you come around, you get his neck for leverage, and you come under and just... Ew, 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 <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> ew. When you guys get that close, can you guys smell each other's breath? Yeah, I tried. Ew. Oh. Ew. Why <laughs> 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 you really switch his mouth? I don't want to smoke garlic and I don't want to smoke kebab. Come on. <laughs> hey, garlic's over there. Garlic bread. <laughs> now he's actually, actually did garlic bread. Ew. Uh, so, he's, he's like, oh, actually. Not ashy, not ashy. Though. What do you, what do you call? It's more rashy. It's because like, you ever guys experience like a rug burn or yeah. like, you're in the gym floor and you like scrape yourself, you get that nasty red burn on your arm, yeah. your leg, your shins. Well, Cyril has a cup on his cock. Like he has one like probably like in a, like different angles of his cock because like depending on the position he dry humps Renee, you know? And like that motherfucker is a dry humper. Like well, I'll demonstrate it with Edmund. So like I'm How do you you've seen him? Yeah yeah, so he likes, You've seen him? He likes fabric that is soft. So he's like, oh Renee, wear those nice shorts. And he just like yeah, Renee. Is that the two step too? Yeah, it's a two step. Hey turn pop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> crazy mom. You guys are horrible, stay, but I like it. You wrestled against him too, no? I wrestled against him. I lost to him. Yeah. Alright, well, really? I'm gonna go cherry poppers. Oh! Damn! You got me! <laughs> I got you. I got you, homie. Damn. Alright, good night. Hi, Papa. Hi, Potato. We're finally home! Yay! How are you feeling? Oh, I kind of have a headache. Uh oh, why? I don't know, I realize like when I'm indoors for too long and I don't get enough sun or I get just all fluorescent lights or, or maybe there's something about like too much brain power required, I start getting a headache. So like today since we filmed pretty much from 10 a.m. all the way until 6 p.m. stayed indoors in the same location with super high intensity brain power and then right after that, which is when usually people's like, they end their jobs, right? Like they go nine to five or 10 to six. So we did the 10 to six, but then afterwards I did another seven to 10 of meetings. So now my brain is like, my brain's super fried and I just feel super indoors. So like on the days like this, what I usually try to do when I drive in between uh, office to the other office, I just have the windows down. Like I'm, I'm not even trying to, have artificial air. Yeah. I've, I've had tons of artificial air and I've had tons of artificial light today. And as an animal, I feel like we need that air. I feel and you, yeah. Stuff. So I'm my, right there with my you. My brain kind of hurts. Oh, well, my Sucks. head hurts right here. Yeah. So, uh, But I still have to get a little bit of stuff done and then uh, time to go to sleep. You're not gonna watch Stranger Things? I want to. Do we have time? Yeah. <laughs> For you always have time. I'm the responsible one. The sponsor Yeah, I'm the one that's always like, babe, we gotta sleep. And then, cause I'm, I'm like, we need sleep. But you're the one that's always like, let's watch it. And then tomorrow morning I have to peel you out of bed like a gum off a sidewalk. Fine. Well, enough about that little chalancha talking shit. I'm so finally home. You learn that from? You're a little chimichanga, okay? So, finally home, and this has to be my favorite part of the day, when I get to take off my shoes and then put on my PJ pants. And I haven't done it yet, but I like taking off my shirt and my bra. But I'm wearing a bra, uh, sports bra right now, so sure. it's a little bit, get off. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's already pretty comfortable. Ever since I got boobs, I can't sleep without a bra anymore. Like when I didn't have boobs, I was always sleeping braless, and I'm like, God, this is so amazing. But now because I didn't grow up with boobs, like when the skin, which is like the skin down, when this part of the boob touches this skin, so when those two skins touch, it freaks me the fuck out. I'm not used to that. It freaks you out? Yeah, like it grosses me out. I'm just like, ugh, I don't want to touch that. I don't want that touching. Like that, that makes me uncomfortable. Or like even the even the skin between my thighs when I'm sweating and then those that part touches it grosses me out too. It's like ah, uh, like I'm not gonna vomit or anything, but I just don't like it. It just doesn't make me feel what? comfortable. Because if it grosses you out, you're on the verge of vomiting. No, no, I know that's why I corrected myself. It's not that extreme. Yeah. I don't like it. So now I always have to sleep with the bra on. Dang, you sound like you're. I mean, you look like you're 
barely hanging on. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm really, really tired. And I still got some stuff to do. Fine, do your stuff, you big cutie pie. Do it. Yeah, at this hour, both Bart and my brain are just mush. Because we've been talking all day and we've been like thinking like crazy hard all day because there's there's regular day-to-day -day thinking where you're just trying to like get things done and you know get by with your or get through with your day and then there's entertainment type of thinking where you have to be quick-witted and fast and and creative and you know quick on your toes um so it's like it's like you're running uphill the whole time you know that's what it feels like that's how where your mind is um, so then when it comes to nighttime, it's like we finally get to unwind and unflex our muscles because like, you know when you're like when you're tense your muscles are super flexed That's what I feel like my mind is like when I'm filming But then as soon as I get home I feel like I can finally unflex this muscle and it can just relax and in that relaxing process Is when my mouth just stops working and my tongue just feels a little bit heavier And then I start slurring and then the words that I'm thinking in my brain aren't like usually coming out of my mouth. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I just feel all kinds of fucked up. Is it like that for you too, Papa? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, a lot of times I try to vlog towards the end of the night and then my mouth just locks up. So I'm like slurring my words. Yeah. I can't even uh, really communicate like what I'm trying to convey everyone. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, no, I feel it like, Again, like I don't don't get me wrong, like I love what I do, but I'm just trying to explain and describe why it is that I'm just blah, 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 and I sound like that right now. Yeah, I um, think like there's like memes on this where there's like um, the cool thing about uh, the cool thing about a lot of entrepreneurs is they do what they love, but the problem is it's a 24/7 job. Oh, for sure. Versus a nine to five. It's 25 eight for sure. Yeah, but the nine to five. Um, some people they don't necessarily completely entertain their passions they like what they're doing but you also work ends at five and you get to go home yeah you get to disconnect and unplug and work stays at work yeah yeah so for sure that's the give or take I don't think one's yeah. better than the other but I highly recommend but because for us like it's so rewarding that it's worth it at the end you know? yeah yeah, no, absolutely. I agree 100%. Like, some people in my, you know, my family love that 9 to 5 grind because for them, they get to leave work at work. And then when they come home, uh, they get to spend time with their family. They get to see their kids grow up. They take the kids to a little league game. They spend time with their loved ones on the weekend. Um, for us, it's not so calculated and, and so black and white where we say, okay, work's going to end at 6 as soon as I get home. Not to say that that can't change and we can't make it happen. But for the most part, because we're on the grind, we don't say, okay, it's 6 o'clock. That's it, work stays at work, don't text me, don't email me, don't talk about it, because I'm not gonna get to it till the morning. Um, it's more like, you know, we kind of take care of it, you know, as soon as it comes in, we're like, no, no, let's keep moving, let's keep pushing forward, let's keep pushing forward. Um, and what's neat about that is that, you know, we can, you know, take time off when the regular nine to five person can't. So that's kind of the give and take there. But I know Bart and I have talked about having kids you know more and more in these vlogs and that's definitely one of the things that's at the forefront of my mind and I'm thinking man when I have kids like I don't want this grind like that's not my that's not gonna be my passion that's not gonna be my priority more not to say I might you know not to say that I'm gonna stop whatever I'm working on now and it's gonna become like secondary but um, I know that I really want to devote my my life at that point to you know my offspring and I want to be there for it and and make sure I'm there through every developmental stage that it's going through um, and unfortunately with this type of lifestyle and schedule that we have it's not going to be really conducive to that so um, again the luxury of not having a nine-to-five is that I can slowly start restructuring how you know my meetings go my shoot days go my just my life in general goes and um, and I'll probably start applying a more nine-to-five mindset in terms of when it is that I'm doing work and then when I finally get to disconnect and unplug and just devote my time to my loved ones. But I think slowly, I think 2017, we're gonna start being um, a little bit more strict about when we end work, when we spend family time, you know, having dinners at home, maybe even possibly having home cooked dinners. I don't know yet, but- You're gonna cook? I want to. Ooh, I love when you cook, Ma Bear. Fine. Uh, possibly having that but definitely making sure that we have our weekends to ourselves because it's like I think it's it's really important to you know to still 
nurture the relationship. Like, yeah, we've been together for eight years or going on eight years now, which I mean, and, and that doesn't mean that we can just kind of keep it on autopilot and cruise control and, and just like kiss each other in the morning, kiss each other at night and not interact at all, like Monday through Sunday. Like there's gotta be some sort of love in the relationship, like physical love, you know, like- Like sex? No, I don't mean like sex. I just mean like physical love, even if that's like, hugging or staring into each other's eyes and I'm not trying to get sappy and all corny here but just you know staring into each other's eyes and saying like you know what I'm so grateful for you I'm like so happy to be with you right now like like we've made a great life for each other like things like that I feel like are super important and make a huge difference in a relationship um so you don't think my morning wood tells you how much I love you every morning <laughs> what you don't think my morning wood tells you how much I love you every would morning? you get a morning wood even if I wasn't sleeping next to you yeah then no it doesn't Fine. Okay. So, yeah. But if you suck it off, then you'll know how much love's gonna come out of that. How do you say that shit in this fucking pose? What? What's wrong with this pose? You fucking luxurious ass helmet head, you. Why <laughs> my helmet head? T press your hair down. See how soft it is? Yeah, right. Duh. <laughs> Anyway, so, how yes, the downside is how that my... Soft <laughs> it is. Dun, 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 fine, dun, fine. Dun. I thought you were tired. Fine. So, again, um, my brain is mush at the end of the night and I don't get to unplug as quickly or as soon as I would like to, but the ultimate perk is I'm doing what I love and I will eventually restructure my schedule to fit the lifestyle that I want. So, I live... A and quarter I make, mile by the time. You messed up. I live my life. Mile at a time. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Um, I'm 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 gonna create the life I want to live. That's what I'm ultimately saying. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. I'm out of here. This is so dumb. This is like a crazy view of LA. So over there. I didn't think it was gonna be this open right there. You see it? See it? Oh yeah. That's tight. I bet you if it's really clear then, since we can see the Hollywood sign here, we might even be able to see the ocean on some days. When there's not that much uh Or at least see Long Beach. Small. So I know that hill right there, that's probably like P V or Signal Hill. So if you look past that area, you can probably see the ocean. This is so cool. Yay! Congrats. 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 Thank you. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun! So right now we're just waiting to get a measuring tape from, what is he called, like the property manager?